This question tells me that I've got a solution of HF. HF is a weak acid, just so you know. So I'll put little equilibrium arrows. Once again, for strong acids, I put a one-way arrow. But this is a weak acid. So I've got HF. It's going to dissociate to give H plus and F minus. It then tells me that uh, the PA, oh, sorry, it gives me the concentration of H plus. So I've got uh, 0.25 molar HF. Sorry. That's an initiation. And it tells me that the pH of this solution, once it reaches equilibrium, is equal to 2.03. It then asks me what Ka is. Ka equals what? Hmm. Okay, how in the world do you do that? Well, first things first, let's write out an expression for what Ka actually is going to be. Ka is going to be equal to the concentration, or equilibrium concentration, of H+. Plus multiplied by the equilibrium concentration of F minus, divided by the equilibrium concentration of HF. That's what Ka is going to be equal to. So, the pH is going to be 2.0, or is 2.03 at equilibrium according to this problem. Hmm, can I use that to determine anything? Well, yeah, you might remember that uh, pH is equal to the negative log of uh, the concentration of H plus. So you could put in 2.3 here and use some rigmarole to determine what H plus is equal, uh, concentration is equal to. But you don't really have to do that because there's already an equation that I've given you elsewhere that says the concentration of H plus is equal to 10 raised to the negative pH. In other words, the concentration of H plus is going to be equal to 10 raised to the negative 2.03 at equilibrium. I throw that into my calculator, that gives me the concentration at equilibrium of H plus. Now, I've done this before. That value comes out to be 9.33 times 10 to the negative third. It's a very tiny number. So that's the concentration of H plus at equilibrium. The concentration of F minus at equilibrium is presumably the same because they're present in a one-to-one -one stoichiometric ratio. So I can take those numbers and throw them up here. But what is the concentration of HF going to be equilibrium? Now remember, 0.25 molar is not the concentration of HF at equilibrium. That's the concentration, according to my problem, of HF right at the beginning of this reaction, when this reaction was actually set up. So how do I determine what HF's concentration is at the end, at equilibrium? Well, you probably guessed it, or I hope you did at least. We're going to have to set up an ICE table, so I'll go ahead and write in ICE. ICE stands for Initial Change and in Equilibrium. Hopefully it stands to reason that at initiation, I throw in 0.25 molar HF, I've got 0 H plus and 0 F minus at initiation. I have some amount of change. I don't know what that change is right now. But when I'm all done, the final concentration of uh, H plus at equilibrium is going to be 9.33 times 10 to the negative third. And I figured that out by using this equation. Now, because there's a 1 to 1 ratio of H plus to F minus, the final concentration of F minus also has to be at equilibrium 9.33 times 10 to the negative third as well. What in the world is going to be the concentration of HF at equilibrium? Well, I don't know yet. How do I get there? Well, I have to determine what the change is going to be. My H plus concentration was zero at the beginning, and it ends up being 9.33 times 10 to the negative third. Sorry, at the end. So what was the change? Well, the change was plus 9.33 times 10 to the negative third. Hopefully you're okay with that. Now, HF to H plus to F minus stoichiometric ratios, one to one to one, which means that the change in concentration of HF right here had to be minus 9.33 times 10 to the negative third. Does that make sense? So what does the equilibrium concentration of HF end up being? I just take 0.25, and subtract 9.33 times 10 to the negative third from it. And the difference between these two, well, that's going to be the final equilibrium concentration of HF. Now, I happen to have done that earlier, and that number ends up coming out to be 0 0.2407. So now, I have the equilibrium concentration of HF. I have the equilibrium concentrations of H plus and F minus. I have actual numbers for those, so all I have to do is take the HF concentration, put it in for there, and then each of these amounts, and put them in for there, throw them into my calculator, and that will give me my final Ka value for this 